We have here the Lenovo ThinkPad X130e. It's an 11.6 inch screen laptop and you can get it with either an AMD Fusion processor or Intel Core i3 processor. Uh, this one I have here actually has the AMD processor inside and uh, there's no actual badge to indicate that. All we have is a Windows 7 sticker and a Lenovo Enhanced Experience 2.0 sticker. But Take my word, there is an AMD processor in there. In particular, it's the E300 uh, Fusion processor, which is the uh, uh, base level processor for this particular model. Um, the X130e is kind of an interesting laptop. It's basically an evolution of the X120e, but it uses a much more rugged design. It's actually targeted at the education sector, um, and in particular K through 12, and as such, it's got a ruggedized finish. Um, interestingly on the lid it has a thick bumper all around the, the lip of it so it's going to help protect from any bumps and knocks that students will give it. The actual lid itself is also rock solid. I mean it's uh, it's not going to give an inch here. I'm pretty sure you could jump on it, sit on it, do whatever and you're not going to have any risk of cracking the screen and obviously since kids are taking this to school and shoving it in backpacks and dropping it uh, that was a concern by the designers. Um, in addition to the very rugged lid on the bottom there's some pretty uh, pretty large rubber feet and that's going to help with some shock absorption. absorption. So if I you can kind of hear if I put it down it kind of bounces a little there because of the rubber feet it's got on there. Um, and the rugged design is kind of carries throughout the laptop. It's very solid um, and uh, definitely more so than the X120e that uh, recently used. Uh, I can tell you for sure that there's been a lot more thought put into the overall build quality here and making sure that it's um, built to withstand the knocks and uh, bumps it's going to get from students. Um, in terms of uh, ports you get on this, uh, you actually get an HDMI port, so I, I guess all those K through 12 kids can take this home and, you know, watch movies on their TV as well. Um, there's also a VGA port at the back, and you get a USB 2.0 port, and an Ethernet port, and a headphone port. That's on the left side. When we move over to the right side, you have uh, a powered USB 2.0 port. You have a um, SD card reader, you have another USB 2.0 port, and then just the power jack here. Um, I thought I'd just bring in the uh, ThinkPad X220 to the shot here so you can kind of see the size comparison as I back out. Uh, the X220 has a 12 and a half inch screen whereas the X130e has an 11.6 inch screen. Um, however, the X130e, because it's uh, built with su such thick plastics, it actually weighs 3.8 pounds or so, whereas the X220 I have weighs around 3.3 pounds. So the X130, despite being smaller, is a full half pound heavier. Um, so if you're looking for the lightest laptop of these two, it's certainly the X220. Uh, if you stay tuned to laptop we'll have a full review of the X130e coming up.